I'm going to tilt the glider up, or the GoPro back, so you can see the glider here. Now, one thing I do want to talk about, sadly, is yet another guy freaking died in the same old way on the same old crap gear, which has absolutely nothing to do with the sport. It's very frustrating because it makes the sport look bad. It makes the sport look unsafe when people are dying all the time. But people don't realize they died because of total crap gear. So he took a very simplistic collapse and the glider did a backflip 180, locked into a spiral, augured him face first into the ground, which you can see in this video. Freaking unbelievable. So I'm gonna do exactly the same thing on the Dominator and do it with a trike. Here we go, boom. And who gives a crap? Total non-issue. Dominator doesn't even change directions. It just keeps on flying. It literally doesn't give a crap. Asymmetric collapse, boom. Who cares? Boom, it just, <laughs> it just doesn't give a crap. That's a Dominator. That's why you fly a super safe certified glider. So that it's not about can you take a collapse, although the Dominator is thousands of times uh, more stable than the death traps that they call reflex. You're thousands of times more stable on a Dominator. But doesn't matter what glider you fly, if you get hit with funky air, you can take a collapse. But what happens if you do it on a Dominator? Watch. Boom! Total non-issue, it just keeps on flying, doesn't give a crap, no big deal at all. Here, I'll even snap the brakes into the brake. So not even, don't even have my hands on the brakes. I'm only about 140 feet off the ground. Big collapse, boom! Just doesn't even give a crap. Boom, swings onto the glider, keeps on flying. Maybe it turned hardly 45 degrees, not even that just total non-issue. That is why we fly a Dominator. And the thing is, is the Dominator has more performance. I set the world speed record on it at 51 miles an hour. So why are people flying these total death traps causing death after death after death in the same old ways and they just keep telling the same old lies to sell the same old horrible gear? This time an ozone free ride. But it doesn't matter what make or model, if it's called reflex, it is a total death trap. That means once you spring the trap, death is the most likely result. Why is it a death trap? Because pretty much any collapse, as you see from the video, and the glider does a backflip 180 and locks you into a face down spiral straight at the ground. So that is a death trap. The trap is just waiting for you to spring it. And when you spring that trap, bam, you're caught in the trap, you freaking die. So let's collapse the Dominator some more. This time let's do it trims up. Here we go, let's put the trims up. Boom, so now we're accelerating the Dominator. Now, asymmetric collapse, boom. And Dominator keeps on flying, doesn't give a crap. Who cares, whoop de doo Trims up, trims down, doesn't matter on a Dominator. Of course, notice most of that altitude I lost was because I let off the throttle. And of course, keep in mind I'm doing this on a paramotor trike. So, do that again, break in, yank and collapse, boom, and bingo, just pops right out, keeps on flying. Notice I'm doing these collapses like 150 feet off the ground because I'm so confident in the Dominator, it's just freaking ridiculous. I know what it's gonna do, I've done it thousands of times, it does the same thing over and over. Same thing, predictability, over and over, you fly a Dominator, you know what's gonna happen. If you take a collapse, it's pretty much just gonna go, whoop, pop right back out, and you'll just keep on flying. 
huge difference from that and a total death trap. So here's a video of a Blackhawk uh, Paratoys wing. Watch this collapse. One minor collapse, same thing I'm doing, asymmetric collapse, except for watch this glider do the same hoax flex, backflip 180. So at only about 15 feet of altitude, he inverted, he flipped a complete 180 and dove face first into the ground facing the opposite direction. That is how deadly those gliders are. It's like, why would anybody in their right mind fly a piece of crap, total death trap, when the safest gear is better in every way? It'd be one thing if you had an excuse. If it had more performance, you could say, well, I'm risking my safety to get a little more performance. But no, they're worse in every single way. So it's like, what the heck? There's, there's no drawback to the Dominator. It's better in every single way. Just ridiculous. Let's do it again. Here we go, big asymmetric collapse, boom. And whoop de doo who gives a crap? It's like you let the riser off and it pops out faster than you let the riser out. It's just, it doesn't give a crap. It's the same thing over and over. But you see death after death after death after death after death, all these guys. And it's the same exact thing over and over. And you warn them about it. I've explained it to these guys. I've shown them the difference. I've shown the stability difference. You can see the videos I've posted in the past proving as a fact that the Dominator is thousands of times more stable. It's very simple. If you want to know which of two gliders is more stable, you simply run them into each other. The less stable glider collapses against the more stable glider. It's very simplistic logic. So the Dominator is not only more stable, but when it collapses, it's designed to just pop right out and just keep on flying like nothing happened. Total non-issue. There's absolutely no excuse for these people to sell this horrible gear. But this is a, it's an example of the real problem, which is the sheer incompetence and dishonesty in the sport. The gear is one part, but the fact that people are flying it and actually selling that crap to people, that's what's even more horrifying, is how horrifically incompetent they are. If it was just one person, one fluke, and then they stopped selling the glider, that'd be one thing, but that is not the case. They just keep selling the same old crap that keeps killing people in the same old ways. And they're selling these things to 70-year-old guys and telling them it's the safest thing since sliced bread. Or they tell them the lie, oh, this is new technology. No, it's failed technology from 40 years ago that nobody wanted to use because it was horrible. So they just remarketed it to ignorant, incompetent people and now they sell it under the guise of a paramotor wing and pretend you don't need safety certifications with a paramotor. It's just horrifying. There's just no reason for such absurd crap to happen in the sport once, maybe once, let alone over and over and over. Obviously you can die doing anything. And if you get a million people flying flat tops and dominators, of course, people can die. It's all about the odds. So what are the odds you're gonna die on a hoax flex death trap that they call reflex? A hundred percent. I mean, people freak out when I mention that. You have a hundred percent chance of death. But do the logic, do the reason, run the numbers. What are your odds of taking a collapse if you fly for say thousands of flights, 100%. I mean, if you fly a Dominator your whole life, a Dominator, what are the odds you're gonna take a collapse? 100%, you're going to take a collapse. It's part of the sport. 
If you ride a dirt bike, you're gonna dump it. It's part of that sport. If you fly a paramotor, you're gonna take a collapse. Now, when you take that collapse, which is 100% guaranteed, if you do it on a glider they call reflex, you're going to do a backflip 180 and lock into a spiral face first into the ground. So what are your odds of dying on any glider that they call reflex? 100%. It's just simple, logic, no-brainer. The only thing that's absolutely perplexing is why anyone would be stupid enough to fly that crap or sell that crap when you, you make the same money selling the best glider in the world. Now sure, they make a little more because they don't have to put it through certifications, but it's not enough. You're talking a very small amount that is insignificant versus people's lives. It's the sheer ignorance, incompetence, dishonesty that's, that's the problem, and it's huge. More people have died from the Hoaxplex scam than anything else in the history of the sport. I counted 12 dead in one single year. We're talking another dead just days ago. You just saw the video. Just the same thing. It takes a collapse, you do a backflip 180. It's not a maybe, it's not, oh, this could happen. It's a, this is 100% guaranteed to happen to you if you fly any glider they call reflex of any brand, any model, anything, doesn't matter. If they call it reflex, it is a totally uncertified death trap. There's no such thing as a glider that can pass certifications in hoax flex mode. I don't even like to call it reflex because it's not reflex, which I already explained in another video. So watch the video where I explain why it's not reflex because you can't push a string. There is no reflex to a paraglider. So the whole thing is a complete scam in the first place. It's a total fraud. They're trying to make people believe it's stable when it flat out isn't stable. It's horribly unstable. So that's the facts. You know, anytime somebody dies, the very first thing people want to know, what happened? Why did it happen? How can I prevent it from happening to me or happening again to someone else? The answer is just stupid simple. Don't fly any glider they call reflex, period. That's it. Don't fly any glider they call reflex. Stop flying that garbage. It's not rocket science. Don't fly the absolute worst, most deadly glider in the history of the freaking sport, and the odds of you dying are extremely small. In all of history, only one single person has ever died on the best and safest gear. One, one single person. I mean, I'm likely the most experienced pilot in the sport. I'm out there pushing all the limits, doing things nobody else on earth can do. I've never even been injured. And I freaking totaled over a dozen flat top paramotors just doing crazy stupid stuff. Pushing the limits, having fun. It's like you ride a dirt bike, you know? You're taking the double, the triple. It's what you do. It's, you know, you're out there pushing it. If you're having fun and if you're not a sissy, it's the way it goes. But in all of history, I've never been injured because it is an incredibly, ridiculously safe sport if you fly a Dominator and a flat top and you get super training. It's just very simple stuff. So it is very, very upsetting to see people die over and over and over because of lying scumbags who are just totally defrauding people into horrifically unsafe gear. Just flat out scamming them. Bam, another death, another death, death over and over and over and over. It just, I could list all the names. It's just ridiculous. There's no reason for it. This is the funnest thing you'll ever do in your lifetime. And the safety is pretty ridiculous. I mean, it's gotta be the safest action sport. The, I don't know if anything's safe. I've been in a lot of action sports and I've broken near every bone of my body. Paramotoring is the only thing just about I've never even been injured at. So it's pretty ridiculously safe as action sports go. As long as you get a flat top paramotor specifically, a Dominator or other certified glider like it, but the Dominator is really the best. 
and then you get a reserve, you get the best training. That's it. I mean, it's very simplistic logic reason. Hey, do it right. Follow the guy who has the experience and has never been injured. I mean, if I'm still alive after all this time setting all these world records, obviously I'm doing something different than the people dying every other week. So enough about that. It's just, it's like hard to even get, it's like so frustrating because people die so often. It's like, oh, another dead, oh, whatever. It's like it hardly even affects you anymore because it happens so freaking often. It's the same thing over and over and over. Dead, 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 dead because they flew crap. So completely separate that that has absolutely nothing to do with intelligent people that get proper gear and training. Okay, enough of that. Let's just go flying and have some fun. <laughs> 